Hello, my name is Haley Curteau and I'm with RST Instruments. Today we're going to talk about our R-Star system, which is used for automated data collection. During this webinar, I'll be giving an overview of the R-Star system. RST's mission statement includes partnering with our customers to help develop instrumentation and data systems to benefit their projects. RST has a full line of small battery powered data loggers to read a variety of sensors as shown on the screen. All of these data loggers are compatible with RSTAR. The RSTAR system consists of a sensor connected to an RSTAR node. The node is one of our RST data loggers with a radio add-on. The data is transmitted from the node to an RSTAR hub via radio. The RSTAR hub then can transmit the data back to your office or workstation by a variety of methods. The RSTAR hub is a central component of the RSTAR system. It consists of an RST FlexDAC data logger, an L900 RTU, and an antenna. It serves as a collection point from all of the RSTAR nodes. RSTAR nodes consist of RST compatible data loggers, the RSTAR radio, and an antenna. Existing RST data loggers can be retrofitted with the RSTAR system. The photo on the left hand side shows an example of an RSTAR hub set up at site with a solar panel and the antenna mounted on a mast. On the right hand side is an example of an RSTAR node with a DT2011B. It is housed in a round pedestal enclosure. The RSTAR system is a wireless, real-time, automated data collection system for RST data loggers. It has an up to 14 km open country range between the hub and the nodes. Each node runs off of a single lithium D-cell battery for up to 10 years of battery life. Each hub can read up to 255 nodes. Advantages of the RSTAR system include using the RST data loggers and their proven reliability. The simple radio add-on is a small incremental cost on top of the data logger. Since the RSTAR system uses a star network, it allows for low power consumption for battery life of up to 10 years. It also allows for a long hub to node distance range. RSTAR node setup is a simple process that consists of just a few steps. Existing RST data loggers and FlexDAC data loggers can be converted to RSTAR with a simple addition of a radio module on the node and the L900RTU in the hub. The RSTAR transmission distance is based upon the radio frequency used, type of antenna used, height of the antenna, and also the line of sight. The better the line of sight, the higher the positioning of the antenna, and the higher gain of the antenna will allow for longer transmission distances. The example on the screen is for a 900 megahertz system. The R-Star radio frequency is country dependent. The frequency will be chosen depending on where the project is in the world, and this also determines the maximum range of the system. The R-Star system works on a star network, as shown on the left-hand side. Advantages of this system include extremely low power consumption and a long range between the hub and nodes. On the other hand, a mesh network includes nodes that communicate with one another and then transmit to a hub. This reduces the range between the nodes and the hub and also takes a lot more power consumption in order to run the system. The shown schematic is a comparison between the R-Star and a mesh system with a hub at the center of the circle. The outer circle is the radius of the R-Star system at 900 megahertz at 14 kilometers. In the center, you can see a mesh system at only 1.6 kilometers range. The R-Star battery life chart plots the number of channels for the node versus the years of battery life. The solid line is for a mild climate, while the dotted line is for a harsh northern climate. As you can see, the battery life is very long in all circumstances. Data is stored in a number of locations in the R-Star system for redundancy. The data will be saved in the nodes even after transmission to the hub. The hub will also save the data. Finally, you'll also have a file on your PC or your server of all the data. 
This will allow you to collect manual readings should the wireless link ever be interrupted. Data security can be an important consideration for some customers. In the RSTOR system, the data transmission is encrypted. It's also transmitted in fundamental units so that your calibration data is required in order to convert it to engineering units. Shown is an example list of projects where RSTOR is currently set up. It includes a variety of customers and projects such as hydroelectric dams, tailings dams, infrastructure, and open pit mines. The key benefits of the RSTAR system are continuous real-time data collection straight to your office. This allows you to reduce your labor costs for collecting the data from data loggers and increases your productivity by allowing you to focus more on using the data that you have collected. RST is a full team of staff to help the customer with their RSTAR system. This includes our sales, technical support, field services, and research and development teams. This concludes our RSTAR webinar. Thank you for taking the time to watch it. Should you have any more questions, you can visit our website at rstinstruments.com or you can contact one of the email addresses shown on the screen.